Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about a common problem called urticaria also known as hives. Um, it's an allergic condition characterized by itchy red raised patches on the skin. Uh, these patches disappear in a few hours but reappear at the same or a new area. Um, it's not life threatening but the general discomfort associated with it can interfere with your daily activities. Urticaria can be a manifestation of many conditions and illnesses which include chemicals in certain foods, plants, animals, animal products, certain medications like painkillers, infections such as cold or sore throat, dental caries, sinusitis or even urinary tract infections. Uh, it can also be a result of some hormonal imbalances like pregnancy, uh, thyroid disorders. Some people with atopy, allergic rhinitis and asthma can also have a tendency to develop hives and in some the cause is not identified which is known as idiopathic urticaria. Um, there are different types of urticaria according to triggering factors and this includes autoimmune urticaria uh, which are those in which antibodies in your body are directed against your own skin cells. Autoimmune urticaria could be a primary illness but it could also be a symptom of some other autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid or the patient might notice that their urticaria got triggered after a trauma, a surgery or basically something that kicked their immune system. Uh, physical urticaria is one where physical factors such as heat, cold, friction or even water can cause hives. Cold urticaria is precipitated by exposure to cold weather or cold water. Um, aquagenic urticaria occurs on skin which comes in contact with water of any temperature. Pressure urticaria develops when pressure has been applied to the skin like from tight clothing or from gripping tools. Cholinergic urticaria are urticarias that are triggered by sweating such as exertion, heat, emotional stress, eating spicy food or by exercise. Uh, when we talk about the treatment options, I suggest a battery of tests to rule out the common causes because you need to know that even minor infections that remain undiagnosed uh, can be a cause of your urticaria. Uh, therefore, identifying and eliminating the trigger um, and treating the symptoms with the latest treatment options available in the modern day medicine is the key. Uh, when I say latest, I mean anti-allergics that work fast, are non-sedating or safe for people with comorbidities. Uh, biologicals are FDA approved latest treatments for chronic urticaria uh, that are given as injections to adults and children above 12 years of age. Hope the video was informative. Do like and share our videos to spread awareness.